Hey guys, this is Adrian in from Odeo, and we're going to go over the features of the Easy Arrow script for After Effects. So what this script does is allow you to attach a default arrowhead or any custom object to the end of a shape layer path. And it obviously auto-orients along the path as you animate it forward. It works on right angles, it works on curves. Now if you select the arrowhead, you'll see some effect controls built in. We have control over the completion point the length of the stroke following the arrow. And if we check this box, we can actually lock the endpoint in place so that we're animating the arrow along the path and not moving the end. But you do have manual control over that endpoint if you move the slider of the easy arrows endpoint. And you can keyframe that separately if you like. And we can also offset the stroke that is attached to the head of the arrow and that can animate behind as so. Or you can simply reverse the direction of the arrow by checking this box here. And one of the best parts about having these be shape layers is the control that it lets us have over the look of the stroke. So if I go into my shape layer options and stroke, you can change the line join to round, and you can also change the endpoint to round instead of the default square. You can also start adding in dashes and really mix up the look of the stroke behind your arrow. Another feature of the script is when you adjust the stroke width, the arrowhead will actually stay in proportion to that thickness. So you can actually get these strokes down thinner, but say you want the arrowhead to stay large, you just open up the arrowhead layer scale and you can drag that forward and that will stay oriented. And of course you can still update your shape layer path after the script has been run. Just need to go into your shape layer, go into the path. If you hold shift, you can start selecting points. When you click, you'll see it's making edits. And then once you have the changes down, just go to the UI panel, click update arrow, and the arrow will be reattached to the stroke. Now the script also lets you attach a arrowhead to the end of the stroke. And as I said earlier, you can attach custom objects, images, and even pre-comps to the end of a shape layer path, which really brings in a lot of flexibility for the script. And when you do pre-comp your graphic, you can obviously make edits and it will still stay oriented. So let me show you how easy it is to use a script. Just opening a new composition, I'm going to select the pen tool, make sure I don't have any layers selected, and as I start drawing, After Effects will go ahead and create a shape layer path for me. Now it doesn't have to be looped together, but it can be. Now with your shape layer path selected, just open the Easy Arrow script UI and click Create Easy Arrow. So right after you run the script, you'll see that it has created an arrowhead layer, which is just a simple solid and it's renamed the shape layer to arrow stroke, and it has added an expression layer which is locked by default, but if you do want to pre-comp your entire arrowhead layer, you're gonna to want to unlock that so that you can go ahead and pre-comp it without any issues. Now obviously we can edit the color because this is just a simple solid layer. We can edit the angle of the arrow, and it will all stay auto-oriented. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but show you how to attach an arrow to the end of the stroke. Just drawing another simple path. So just make sure you have your shape layer selected. And this time we're gonna check the box, create default tail, and then click create easy arrow. And just like that, we're gonna have an arrow attached to the end of our stroke. Now this will also react to the length of the stroke, and it will also stay locked as well. All right, now let's go ahead and try with a custom image. I'm gonna go ahead and select the pen tool, start drawing a shape layer path. Now one thing we need to do before running the script is change the anchor point of the image because the anchor point is where the object will be attached to the end point of the stroke. So I'm gonna slide it to the end here in the center. Now you just need to select your shape layer first Hold shift and select 
your graphic and then we're going to click create easy arrow so you see now we have it attached it looks a little funky and this is because it is not auto oriented we need to set that manually so we'll just go ahead and adjust the rotation here point it in the right direction now it's close. Um, we can obviously adjust the scale. So it's upside down. Of course, we can flip this here vertically. I'm just going to select the scale, unlock it, change this to negative 15. So that flips. And now we are getting much closer. So our rotation is still a little off. With the custom graphics, you're going to have to just dial it in. But once it is set, it will stay oriented. And you can still adjust the anchor point even after the script has been run. And there you go. Well guys, that's the basics of the Easy Arrow script for After Effects. I hope it's helpful and I hope to see you again next time.